Assalamu alaikum friends in this video i will show you how to run python code in visual studio code editor let's start first of all go to visual studio code extension menu and install a recommended python extension named python this extension will help you to write python code accurately install the extension After that, install another extension, Code Runner. This extension will enable you to run Python in Visual Studio Code Editor. Hit the install button to install the extension. After that, open Google and download the Python in your computer. Hit the download button to download the latest version for Windows. After the file is downloaded, go to File, right click and run as an administrator. Install the Python. After that, open your Visual Studio Code Editor and just create a new folder in your desktop name the folder add the folder in your vs code inside this folder create a new python file with an extension py After that select the interpreter which is the python library which I have just installed in my computer. After that I am going to write a short and simple python code. This is the message and print this message in Visual Studio code terminal output window just hit this run core button this is a error python was not found and manage app execution analysis no let's remove this error go to your windows start menu and just type here app settings go to your windows app features here just click on app execution analysis after that just turn off these two options which is the python files no close run the code again We have got an other error. Python is not recognized as an internal or external variable. Command. Now let's remove this error to run the Python. Right click the Python installer and run as an administrator. Now this time you need to modify your installed already installed Python click next and just check this add python to environment variables click the install now the python file has been modified successfully after that open you can add the python execution file path in your system environment variable manually by using this method click the path and here are the two file path in your windows environment variable now after that restart 
your visual studio code editor now run the code again click this run code button at the top right corner you can see that the output has been displayed in visual studio code terminal output now i modified the message run the code again and message has been displayed again thanks for watching